It's starting to look a lot like the holidays at the Pennsylvania State Capitol. And for many, holiday shopping is already well underway. Our Harrisburg correspondent, Brendan Scanlon, joining us now with warnings that state officials have for shoppers this season. Well, good evening. According to the Federal Trade Commission, Pennsylvanians lost over $79 million in 2020 to fraud. That's about $256 per person lost to a scam. But do scams actually increase during the holiday season? The, the evidence shows that they do. Jeffrey Johnson with the Department of Revenue says there are a number of scams to watch out for, especially during the holiday season. Um, this is a very common time for uh, scam artists to be trying uh, new schemes. Most commonly phishing schemes where unsolicited callers pose as somebody they are not. Their goal is to try to make you um, feel like you're communicating with you know, a government agency or someone like that. If you're in the midst of holiday shopping, officials warn of drastic markdowns on hard to find items. And they average $250-$300, but I find another website that offers them for $100, that's a big red flag. Katrina Boyer with the Department of Banking and Securities says such markdowns are sometimes fake websites pretending to be legitimate. You'll be invited to either purchase a gift card or send the money by wire transfer and you send the money, but the product never comes. Requesting consumers to purchase gift cards is becoming a more common scamming tactic, both with fake websites and phishing calls. Scam artists are really sort of getting away from wire transfer and moving more towards buy a gift card and give us the information off of the back of the gift card. As soon as the person gives the information over the phone or online, the money is gone. Other things you can do to prevent falling victim to a scam this season are use strong online passwords, avoid unsecure websites and Wi-Fi networks when shopping online, watch for suspicious links from phishing emails, keep an eye on your credit reports, and never give your social security number or bank information to unsolicited calls or emails. And officials also say it's extremely important to report scams to your local police departments, the state attorney general's office, and the Federal Trade Commission. Reporting live in Harrisburg, I'm Brendan Scanlon.